were started back in 2005. Uh, as a result of um, rampant methamphetamines use in our community. At the time Matt Force began, I was the uh, police chief in Cottonwood, and, and uh, as I went around and talked to people in the community, it became apparent that they just felt they were under siege. We were seeing it in those that we served in our outpatient programs as well as our inpatient programs. So at that point we decided that we should form a coalition and that we ought to try to do something proactive. And our thought was that if we put our heads together that in a unified fashion perhaps we could come up with some solutions to methamphetamine. The thought of being able to do something worked well for me. We needed to uh, get together with those that were concerned not only about the community but those living in the community. You looked at what was uh, you know what was adding to that what uh, what were that was in essence the precursor for uh, the drug and how could we control that. One of the first things that Matt Force did was conduct a methamphetamine impact study. We found at that time that 68 percent of our felonies had a connection to methamphetamine. At the time, the state was struggling with um, looking at ways to get veteran behind the counters. The city council came forward and said, well, look, let's just pass a local ordinance to require our pharmacies to put it behind the counter. The community was clearly behind the need to do something. Immediately I saw the potential and I also saw the need that the school districts in the area be very much involved with the program. So my role in Map Force was to perhaps move things along uh, to the other school districts and, and convince their superintendents to participate. Probably the best example of this has been the bus decal program. Every public school bus in Yavapai County now has a decal that has the Map Force website on it and then carries an age-appropriate message that relates to either drugs or to underage drinking. The result has been tremendous. If you drive anywhere in Yavapai County and you see a large yellow school bus or even a small yellow school bus, you will see a map force decal on it. Other ideas have been, the, current, the most current one right now is the See It Stop It program, which is a silent witness program. See It Stop It program offers reward money to students who call in, they can either text or call and talk about illegal drug or alcohol activity at their school. I think it's a premier example of community policing in action. In other words, it's what resources can we bring to bear to problems as opposed to just always going out and arresting individuals for using drugs and then uh, essentially getting them into jail and having the cycle continue over and over again where we as law enforcement are just dealing with the same person, the same issue. I think Matt Force put some things at the table that really kind of help stop that cycle. We've now seen a 30 percent drop in the number of felonies that we've charged. The data clearly show that, that crime has declined, the instances of use of a methamphetamine and other substances has also declined. And to me, Map Force is probably the most effective coalition I've ever seen in my career. We are just so proud to be the milestone winner for the 2009 God Outcomes Award. Map Force is a very deserving candidate.